How are you doing? I'm Glenn with Beef Power Equipment and today we are going to go over our new variable clutch system that fits the uh, Predator 212 engines. Well, first we're going to talk a little bit about what it does, why you may want to use it, and then we're actually going to show how it is installed. So basically, I'm going to grab the camera to show you the uh, what consists of it. Um, so the components that it consists of are the uh, this pulley assembly with the installation plate. Also, this is the front pulley. So I believe they call this the dry pulley and this is the driven pulley. Uh, comes with a belt, comes with the shroud, and it comes with uh, several bolt kits. I've separated them because basically it's going to come with all of them, but these here are for a different engine. I'm not exactly sure what engine, but if you're going to uh, put it on a Predator, these are the bolts that you're going to need. We actually put these in the kit because uh, the kits generally don't come with a part of the bolts. Part of the uses a different bolt than a lot of other engines. Um, it's actually a it's a non-metric bolt, and most of the other ones do use a metric. So uh, we put them in there, and uh, this oil plug, which I'll explain later why you might need that. So, anyways, that would be what's consisted of in the kit. And let me put the camera back over here. Okay. And now we're going to talk a little bit, let me just try to adjust that a little bit more, a little bit about what it does. So this is basically like an automatic transmission for your Predator engine. It basically, as the engine comes up in RPMs, this front pulley begins to collapse more. So it, when it's like this, and then as your RPMs come up, it collapses like that. And when it does that, what it does is it forces the belt to ride up higher in the pulley. As that belt rides up higher in the pulley, this is spring-loaded, this back pulley, it forces the belt to come down lower in that pulley. So now we've changed the gear ratio. So basically we're now giving, we're going into a higher speed mode to say. The, uh, the engine, the ratio was changing and now every revolution of the engine is making the wheel turn a little bit faster. And the opposite happens if you, like, this is mainly made for, like, mini bikes and go-karts or things like that. Anything that you're kind of, you're, you're driving. <clears throat> and if you get into, maybe you're climbing a hill, or you get into some sand, well, what normally happens with a regular clutch is the engine starts to slow down. And that's, that's uh, actually bad in both ways because it starts to slow down. And as the engine slows down and gets lower in the RPMs, it drops out of its power curve because its power curve is up into closer to 3600 RPMs at, at top range. So it has more power when it's closer to that 3600. As it starts to drop off, it starts to lose its power curve at the same time it's needed the most. What this will do is basically downshift, almost like a car, and allow the engine to kind of kick its RPMs back up. Um, obviously there's a limit to that, but uh, it will allow the RPMs to come back up and it will help it in, that, in the area where it needs the most torque. Uh, first taking off, getting heavy sand, going up a hill, a little bit heavier load, Anything like that, it's going to help this engine to keep that low-end power curve up and to drive it better. So that's basically what it does. It, it basically is just an automatic transmission for a small engine like this. So that's, uh, that's basically it for that. And so now I'll show you how we're going to install this thing. I'm going to pull the camera a little bit closer to help see it a little bit better. Uh, there we go, maybe. Okay. So... What we're going to do is, we're going to talk a little bit about this oil plug first. The reason we give you this is this plug, on this particular engine, this plug is okay. But on some of these Predators, this oil plug here flares out a little bit. So on some of them, it flares out. This thing sits so close to this back oil plug that you can't have that flare. So we give you a straight one to put in there so that you could get rid of that flare. Now also, this one has the dipstick on it. You're going to want to change that. You're going to want to move your dipstick around the front. Because once this thing is installed, oh, I'm sorry, this one's got dipsticks in both plugs, so it's okay. Once this thing is installed, you're not going to get to this back plug. It's, I, I think it's impossible, but if you can do it, it's, it's going to be real tough. So even though this plug's okay, just for the sake of this video, we'll go ahead and install this plug and we're going to put that in there now one other thing after you get the plug tightened you want to turn it sideways we want it to be sitting 
and I'm going to show you here. We want it to be sitting sideways like that, okay? Um, because it that's how much clearance, that's how close we are to that thing. We need it to sit in that angle. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do before we start the install is this shroud. We need to we need to bend it in a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, just for a little bit of clearance. So I'm just going to kind of tap that in. That should be enough, just a little bit. Just a, go in just a little bit, uh, and you'll see why a little bit later on in the video. Okay, so now this device or this predator, we're going to use the middle hole of the three inner holes. So we've got sets of three, and we're going to use the middle hole. Now, you also need to know that this clutch dips down a little bit further than the engine. Generally not a problem, because usually you would have your chain driving down in that direction anyways, but you do need to have enough clearance because it sits right up against the engine, but it does drop a little bit below the engine. So we're going to take this, and we're going to get our first screw in here. started okay and uh, get that drill so now we're going to want to tighten these four screws okay so now we have that installed now the next thing we're going to want to do is going to just want to take this spacer and this washer spacer goes first washer goes second then we're going to want to take the inner plate, which it also has a little copper washer on it that can stay right on it. And we're going to want to take that and put that on it. By the way, I didn't mention, but you're going to want to take the keyway out of this engine because this device all has a built-in key. So if you have the little key on your shaft, just take it off and it just comes right out. So we're going to want to put that on there next. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to install the belt because it's much easier to do at this point. Now, if you look at this belt closely, you're going to see that there's actually a flat edge and then there's a V'd edge. And the reason that is, is we've got a flat pulley and we've got a V pulley. So we're going to want to make sure that we install this with a flat edge facing in, facing this flat surface. So we're going to put this around here and put it, pull it over. There we go. Then we're going to install, we can put this device here. It also has a slot for the key, and then we can slide the inner pulley on. This is the inner pulley. Um, it's the inside cup one. That's going to want to go next. Then we're going to take the outer one, and the outer one has a little, a little flat edge on each side. So you're going to want to line that up so that sits flat. There we go. Then we have this device here, which locks it in place. It also has a place for the key. I want to turn it so it's locked, so it lines up. I'm going to want to put this pulley in. And then we're going to want to tighten this up. And that's that part. I want to show you one other thing before we go put the shroud on. So now your chain gear is in here. This takes, I believe, it's 40 or 41. Number 40 or 41 uh, chain. Um, we'll put it on the website, but I'm pretty sure it's 40 or 41 chain, which is pretty much the common chain for uh, mini bikes, go karts, things on that order. So your chain now is going to come into here. So you're going to want to hook that chain in through there. Obviously, if you had it run through the thing, you're going to have to shorten the chain with the master link and, and you know, get it adjusted correctly. So that's that. So now we've installed the variable clutch, they call it, or automatic transmission, whatever you want to call it. We've installed it on the Predator and it's ready to go. And so now all we need to do is install the shroud. And this is why we knocked that back a little bit. Because it wouldn't clear if we didn't. So we're going to put that on there. And it looks like maybe just about 
Got enough clearance. Let's go here a little brush, yeah. Okay, we're gonna tighten that, yeah, until we get the other ones in. Yeah, you probably can't do this because it's probably bolted a mini bike or something, but lean the belt, lean it up. And that's it. That is the installation of the variable clutch system. Uh, Predator 212. Uh, we've done it on both engines. Basically the install is the same whether it be the Hemi engine or the non-Hemi engine. Uh, the installation is basically identical. Um, so that's going to do it for today. We thank you for watching and have a good day.